everybody, it's Rob back again with another video. This time it's going to be a quick Photoshop tip or trick or tutorial or whatever you want to call it. And the reason why I've done it is just because I'm editing these photos in Lightroom and I thought this would be a good example to show. And this is all to do with if you're taking group shots and you've got some people in the group that have blinked or you've got a lot of people um, in the group and you want to make sure everyone's eyes are open now obviously this does take a bit of planning and when you're taking the photos you want to take enough just to rule out anyone not looking or blinking in the first place but sometimes as in this example we've got the groom here and he has got his eyes in this funny pose or his face in this funny pose he looks a bit funny and we're going to try and fix that and basically we've got a few other shots and this is kind of the best shot but we need to fix his face so we've taken enough shots in order to get one with his eyes open and this is going to be the trick we're going to take his eyes from another photo and we're going to put them in here in Photoshop and first of all what you'll say is well that's easy to do we do it all the time but this is for some of the people that may not know this. It's just a little trick to show. I thought I'd just upload this video, so don't be too harsh on me. I just thought I'd throw this in there and maybe some people will learn something. So I'm gonna just show you how I would do it. And this is the result. Just show you that first. Let's let that just load. This is in Lightroom. So that is the finished photo. So what we're gonna do first is load this one Let's just check that I've got. Okay, so this one here, as you can see, uh, let's let that just load in Lightroom. So this picture here is better with his face, but the bride isn't looking in the right direction and nor is the father of the groom. So we're gonna take his eyes and put them on the other photo so let's open this in Photoshop I'm gonna press command and E from Lightroom which will open Photoshop and load up this photo it will take a few seconds I'm recording as well so it's gonna take a few seconds there we go and I'm gonna go back into Lightroom and just upload bring this other photo I mean into Photoshop so let's choose the right one and let's put this one command and E and that will load up in Photoshop also okay so this is the one let's just zoom in a bit just so you can see so this is the one where his eyes are a bit shut and the other photo here is where his face and his eyes are open this looks perfect of him but the bride and the father of the groom is not looking so we're going to cut out his eyes and put them on the other photo it's very very quick we're going to click on the lasso tool and we're going to make a selection around the middle of his forehead and we're going to go around enough and take enough of his face so that we can use more if we have to and the trick with this is that we've get, we've taken enough photos with all the settings the same so the white balance hasn't changed um, it hasn't got darker, the exposure is the same, so that is pretty much the trick to make this so much easier than it would be otherwise. So we're going to click on V, the move tool, and we're going to just bring this out straight away, open it up in the other photo, I'm going to bring it down, and there we go, we have his eyes here, and we're going to bring it in roughly to the place, and I'm going to use my arrow keys just to finish it off and look you can see straight away that that is almost seamlessly without me masking it off or anything I'm just tweaking the position of his eyes and that is almost perfect now but what I will do is just zoom in just a little bit just to check and I'm just going to put a layer mask on the top layer and press X on your keyboard to swap 
uh, the colors we want to click uh, sorry we want to use the black for this and uh, press B for brush and we're gonna zoom in a bit and make sure your opacity here bring it down to 50% and make sure you've got a soft brush so the hardness is set to zero and then we're just going to go around with a black brush just to mask out the edges just to make sure we've got no nothing no clear lines that are visible and I know it's all right already because I've done it in another photo the lighting and everything is almost perfect for this example and if we zoom out already we've got a really nice photo so we've got the top layer off his eyes are shut there and if I put the layer back on his eyes are open that is a quick Photoshop video from me opening up a photo from Lightroom sticking it into Photoshop and changing the eyes that is it just a quick video hope you like like and subscribe and all that stuff. Take care. See you next time.